Avatar The Last Airbender is taking over the internet in the next five years, and here is everything you need to know. In this video, we are covering all of the major projects that are reportedly under production in the Avatar The Last Airbender universe. This project slate popped up online, I did some further research, and now we're going to go over all of it together. So, let's start with the Netflix live-action adaptation. The live-action adaptation of the original show has been in production for a while now. We knew about it as far as 2020, but now, the the show is almost ready to go. Reports online have indicated that the Netflix series has wrapped principal photography in Vancouver, Canada, and it's reportedly slated to come out sometime in the summer of this year. Unlike the travesty that M. Night Shyamalan brought into our lives, this is directly based on the Nickelodeon animated series co-created by Michael Dante Di Martino and Brian Konietzko. Plus, we already have a ton of details on how the show is going down. First off, let's talk about the cast. We got our first glimpse at the Avatar crew around August of 2021. But thankfully, by September of last year, Netflix dropped an official cast list. Gordon Cormier of Lost in Space is playing Aang. Ia Wentino Tarbel, which you might know from Anne with an E, is playing Katara. Ian Ousley from 13 Reasons Why is going to be playing Sokka. And of course, how can we forget, Dallas Liu is playing Zuko. It's been reported that we could get 10 hour long episodes in this bad boy. However, we've also seen various reports that indicate an 8 episode run. If you want to get the full scoop on the entire Avatar slate, check out this video because I already posted it on my main channel. On another note, it's getting pretty expensive. Initial reports said that it would be costing upwards of 10 to 15 million dollars an episode for a grand total roughly of about 120 million dollars just for season one alone. And of course, this pains me in my heart adding some insult to injury, the original co-creators of the animated series will not be returning to the project. Michael Dante Di Martino and Brian Konietzko were involved in the production early on, but unfortunately, that is not the case anymore. However, they did have some nice things to say about casting in this series. We're thrilled for the opportunity to helm this live action adaptation of Avatar the Last Airbender. Rip in the chat. We can't wait to realize Aang's world as cinematically as we always imagined it to be. And with a culturally appropriate non-whitewashed cast. You know me, I already love this. The fact that they took the initiative and obviously went for a culturally appropriate cast considering the Eastern Asian influences of the original work makes a ton of sense. But their departure is where some of the doubts started to creep in, at least for me. Especially since they were pegged to be the executive producers and the showrunners for this project, but they left the production around mid-2020. On top of that, the original composer, Jeremy Zuckerman, was also thought to be returning to the Netflix adaptation to compose the music for the show. However, as you can see right here, he also confirmed that he's not going to be taking part in the live-action adaptation. With that said, on to the positives. The people that are working on this show know their stuff. For example, we got Dan Lin as the executive producer, Albert Kim as the showrunner, and Jang Chol Lee as the concept designer, which have worked collectively on Sherlock Holmes movies, the Lego movies, It, Big Hero 6, Tangled, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, and even Beowulf. So, that lets me know they have experience with Big IP. Now all that matters is the execution. The show is slated to come out sometime in the summer of this year, but at this point we haven't even seen a trailer, so don't be surprised if that gets moved back. Moving on, we're supposed to get season 2 of that show, aka the one that is covering book 2, around the summer of 2025. That is a big gap, but we have a ton of projects to cover, so bear with me. 2025 specifically is going to be a huge year for the Atlas Slate, especially since we're supposed to be getting a Team Avatar movie as adults. That one is currently slated to be coming out around October 10 of 2025. We don't have that much info on the actual details of the show. During the run of The Legend of Korra, we did get to see some glimpses into Team Avatar as they were growing up and growing into their roles after the Fire Nation collapsed, or at least after Fire Lord Ozai's failed attempt to take over the Avatar. I will say this is our last chance to see the original Team Avatar in an adult setting, or at least that's what's in the slate so far. So I'm excited for that one. But the big hitter in 2025 comes out in the winter of said year, which is the new Avatar The Last Airbender series covering the Earth Avatar. We have absolutely zero details on the name, the origin, or whatever else you want to call it from the Earth Kingdom Avatar, but I do wish that he meets Korra at some point throughout his journey. Whether that be communing with her in the spirit world or through the Avatar state, it makes a 
ton of sense. It would be a cool sight to see, especially considering that she is the last remaining avatar that had some connection to the previous generation and the new one, because obviously from the events that we saw at the end of The Legend of Korra. After 2025, we are moving forward to October 9th of 2026, where we're supposed to be getting an animated Zuko movie. For this one, everybody knows, Dante Basco should come back at some point in these projects to reprise his role as Prince Zuko. The main questions that we have for this specific project, however, are when and where does this movie take place? Will it be between the original series and the Team Avatar as adults movie? Will it happen after or somewhat closer to The Legend of Korra. We still don't know, but I'm very excited to find out. Also, in 2026, we have an untitled Avatar The Last Airbender series that is reportedly in production, but again, we have zero details on that, so make sure you like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe with the Naughty Bell on so you can get more updates about that specific project. 2027 is also supposed to be a pretty huge year for the Atlas Slate, as we're supposed to be getting book three of the Netflix live-action adaptation. And then, after that, two separate untitled animated films. One reportedly coming out around October 8th, 2027, and the other having a completely unspecified date. By now, you know that you have to keep in mind some of these projects are already confirmed, but others require a ton of details, especially since we're so far out from the production cycle. With that said, to me, the projects that have the most promise are obviously the Team Avatar adult animated film, the Netflix adaptation, hopefully, and of course, the new Avatar the Last Airbender series covering an avatar from the Earth Kingdom. Also, just because you stuck around to the end of the video, if somebody's able to count how many times I say avatar in this video, I'm gonna be giving you guys a $20 gift card. This was one of the most popular shows of the mid to late 2000s, and it still holds a lot of influence today. So yeah, you know I'm excited for more avatar content. Are you going to watch the new Netflix adaptation? Do you think the Earth Kingdom series is going to actually overshadow the Legend of Korra or the original show? Let me know your comments down below. But of course, that's it for me. I'll see you on the next one.